Now, I, I think the gimmick can play on the indies. You know, as long as you space out your appearances at the same place, I think it could play a lot longer. What do you guys think? But that said, emotionally, a lot of guys you've worked with and are close to are moving forward with AEW, which has so much momentum. You know, emotionally, is it hard to, like, I don't want to say left behind in that regard because you're certainly good enough to be there, but the, the gimmick kind of does leave you behind, at least for now. Uh, I'm sorry, what, AEW? -A -E AEW. They know what it is. Has, has anybody ever? I'm, I'm unfamiliar. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh... Yeah, you know what? I, those guys are my friends. I, I mean, I, I, they're going to be my friends forever. Uh, I just filmed a thing with the Young Bucks uh, last night, their, their new YouTube show. The, well, that, the that's room, what I mean. You've been such a big part service. of being the elite. Yeah. yeah. You, got killed on, no, you, you got killed on being the elite. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly killed. All right. Uh, don't implicate hangmen anymore. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I mean, those guys are my – and so I don't, think, I don't think necessarily at this point – it's an all or nothing. You know, it's not like, you know, I, it's not like I have to get in on the ground floor if I do ever wrestle for AEW. It can be a thing when the timing's right. And, you know, I've talked to those guys, and right now is not great timing for either of us because my momentum is growing forward with the dick stuff and the independence, and they're just trying to establish a brand. So, again, bringing a polarizing figure in might not be what they need right now. So it's not saying that, like, you know, because, again, those guys are going to be my friends forever, and they have been my friends forever. So it's not saying that just because I'm not in on the ground floor doesn't mean I won't get in eventually. Uh, we're going to take your questions in just a few. I think we'll see Joey Ryan on TV uh, at some point, probably sooner and not later. Uh, we're going to take your questions in just a few minutes, so please get those ready. I can't wait to hear them, honestly. Uh, the one big negative about the gimmick, Joey, is it just isn't going to play on TV. And uh, I think you're talented enough, to, to more than talented enough, to be with a major company on TV. Will you have to change what you do dramatically to do that? And is that something that's still important to you? I mean, it got to be, right? Um... Well, I was under Lucha, under contract, Lucha Underground contract for a few years, and I never did, I never did any of the dick stuff on Lucha Underground. Well, I did it in dark matches, but they, that was okay because they weren't on TV. Uh, on the televised stuff, I never did any of the dick stuff. And, you know, I think the, there's enough of the sleaze character that still plays. You know, the ba I can do the baby oil. I can do the blow pop still. Um, uh, but, you know, obviously the dick stuff is a little bit questionable for television. Um, but, you know, at, at this point, at this point, and... You know, I mentioned this before. If, you know, the, the risk of... Well, first of all, I'm a polarizing persona, so the risk of anybody putting me on TV is, is going to... You're going to get the negative and the positives. But for me, considering that, like, if I do go to television and I do change the character or change the, the, the gimmick, is it going to, like... Because it's almost like I have to reestablish myself. So it's almost like starting over when I've got something that is already over and already lucrative for me. Um, is it worth me losing that to try to start over? Um, you know, because I do have a, a pretty big fan following and I do, uh, I do, you know, I do all right for myself now. So I don't know if the risk for me is worth trying to start over and reestablish something. Uh, I, I see your point there. And obviously you do great on the indies. You're in demand everywhere really but can the gimmick play on the indies indefinitely can you revise it enough to go back to the same time and same promotion you know year after year um you know this is obviously been um you know a question that i've thought about for a while i mean you've done it for four years so the answer right. appears to be yes um well the, the thing about that though too is that like i'm not i'm a special attraction so I'm not necessarily a regular anywhere. Like I don't, you know, I, I, I don't usually go to the same places monthly or weekly or whatever. Your, your, your dick's like Andre the Giant in the territory days. Yeah. So like, you know, if I'm only wrestling a certain promotion or a certain area once every four or five, six months, um, that's enough time for the audience to like see it and then want to see it again, which help, helps me out. Um, but, you know, uh, it, it just... It, it becomes a thing where the people see it online and then they want to see it live in person. It's like going to see, 
you know, your favorite band in concert, you want to see them play your favorite songs, which are usually the hits. So a lot of times I just kind of have to go play the hits. Um, and, you know, and, and, you know, wrestling, you know, is, it's the moves aren't as important as the story, at least for me. So a lot of times the reaction I get is I'll get booked against a Scott Steiner. And then everybody that goes with the, oh, my God, how is this interaction going to work? You know, it's, so it's about the characters, how, how, who I'm booked against, how their character is, and how our characters react. And that's more of the story to it rather than necessarily the moves that are being used.